I knew something was missing in my classroom. As much as I loved science, there was just something else to science education that was missing. Youth Futures is a comprehensive professional development program. And the intent is to engage teachers armed with the necessary skills, content knowledge, and deportment to work with their colleagues in transforming science. Has this program made a difference in my life as a teacher? Absolutely, I feel like a brand new teacher. And I'm not, so <laughs> but I feel like one. You know, it just has added a, um, a lot more fun in the classroom and it reminded me of, I'm, I'm really not teaching science, I'm doing science and I love it. U Futures is a great opportunity to learn new skills that I could implement into the classroom and actually help my students understand the concept of science better. The, the courses in the program are carefully designed for the teachers. So they begin um, learning about effective and best practices in classroom. Then they're introduced to formal science courses developed and led by our science colleagues from the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. So they do nine credit hours of formal science courses. The content um, in, the, in these courses are aligned to the content as indicated by the National Science Education Standards. Working with UF professors has been really great because they um, have so much knowledge that I can gain um, that I try to absorb as much of it as I can. They've packaged the, the information in a way that's digestible for all of us, whether my, with my background in, in business versus another person's background in earth science versus someone. So they find a commonality that we can all relate to and then bring us along and give us those pieces in a way that's really, really easy. We have to actually do the science in order to learn it. And when you learn in that way, the information um, is retained. Just by getting up and doing the labs and participating in the science, and it made all the teachers, including me, very comfortable with doing labs. I mean, after the physics and chemistry courses combined, we were like, where's the lab set up and how do we, you know, it was done. No problem. What can we do so that the teaching can be better and the learning can be, um, can be more effective? And if we keep focus on student and student learning, and if that's the goal, then the conversations are, are even richer. Learning inquiry, learning how to use a different method to teach students, moving away from strictly working with the textbook. When they have to think and design their own experiment and when they have to go through trial and error to figure out what it is that they're doing and what they're trying to accomplish and then what results they received, they learn science and they learn a whole lot more than if I hand them an activity and tell them to do this. Everything we're learning here is directly related to what we're going to be teaching in the classroom to give us a better ability to teach that to the students. What you do is you give the lab as part of the lesson. You use it to teach so they don't know what's gonna happen at the end. And then once they see the results, then you explain to them the results of the lab like real scientists do. Yeah. Curtis, you need to be so, ready to record. I'm ready to be awesome. All right, start. If you go the older model, what you're doing is you're just teaching the kids a set of isolated facts. And they have to memorize it. And they're learning the facts of science, not the process of science. By having them experiment, use equipment and tools, they're learning the process that leads to the answers. And that's actually more important than the answers. Because in science, the answers change all the time as we learn more information. But if the students learn the process, they've learned science. I think it's going to help the students when they look at you know, this approach of making a claim, finding evidence to support it, being able to communicate that within their community of students and in the forms of reports and uh, models and things of that nature, then they're going to be able to approach life in a, from a different perspective. They won't just accept the knowledge that someone gives them without saying, hmm, let me, you know, test this out. If we send students to high school that don't have the, 
foundation of science. It's gonna be very, very difficult for them to catch up in high school, and they won't feel successful enough to go into the sciences in college. So it's real important to teach them not only to think science is fun and cool to learn, but actually teach them the science principles and to learn the science content so they can move up. There's a need on a national scale to make a change in, um, in science education. You know, we all know that if America is to be successful and, be, and continue to be competitive on the global scale, then we have to begin to make um, some real deep changes in how we approach science, technology, engineering and math in the K-12 school system. And so what U Features does is that here we are providing the kinds of experiences for teachers to begin to look at their practices in different ways. Ultimately, it's going to make a difference because not only will they be performing well, they'll have the skills, they'll have the attitudes, and they will want to become scientists later on.